family of the 20-year-old Rain woman who was shot and killed by her boyfriend is speaking out just days after her murder. They tell News 10's Danielle Johnson they are still in the dark about what happened. They've heard several stories from friends and family about what could have happened to 20-year-old Alicia Malone. They tell me they haven't heard much from law enforcement. However, they know for sure the murder was a case of domestic violence. The family says Alicia lived hours away in Homa. They only met her boyfriend, 23-year-old Trended McGuire, a few times. Came over here one time to visit, and then I've seen him a couple other times, but that was about it. This was the very first time I seen him. I didn't really care for him. Um, I don't know why. He quickly found out why. The day the family found out, Alicia had been shot by her boyfriend. My daughter uh, started looking on my phone to, you know, try to find the number to Lafayette General, and she said, "You have all kind of strange messages on your phone from people that we don't know." And so she started looking and said that um, there was Alicia's friend saying that she had been shot. Just moments after arriving to the hospital, they were notified of her passing. They had brought her back a couple of times, but it was just too bad. They couldn't save her. The family says talks about Alicia being abused by McGuire had circulated around, but was never confirmed by Alicia herself. Her father says when he found out about her violent relationship, he tried to help, but it was too late. We had just talked about her moving back like last week, honestly. You know, it just was getting away. I didn't know that she was being abused like that. The family says Alicia left behind two children, a one-year-old and a three-year-old. I just don't understand how it can be that heartless. Her family says despite Alicia growing up in poverty, she always stayed positive. She just enrolled in the GED program. She was looking forward to continuing her education to create a better life for her and her children. Now all the family has is hope for justice in their memories of Alicia. Danielle Johnson, KLFY News 10. Law enforcement has not released any details regarding Alicia's death.